Hello everybody, welcome to a new player guide um, for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Today, we're going to be, uh, this is the first of five videos where we're going to be talking about the Investigator starter. There, I have a pack right here. Hello, I'm Nathaniel Cho and I'm here to say, play me now. Um, we're going to be talking about these decks for uh, new players. So how it's going to work is we're going to be going through each cycle of cards and recommending cards from those cycles. In addition to that, we're also going to talk a bit about the core set and um, kind of just uh, some cards from there as well. And we recommend that if you only have one copy of the core set, pick up two or procs of the cards you have, uh, that you don't have, it'll make you win more. However, these little starter decks come with, they, they pack a big punch in terms of the card count in them. In addition, uh, Travis, who wrote up these decks, he has a little thing as well that you can play these decks without making any changes to them. They are pretty good just out of the box. Uh, however- and you should. Uh, yeah, uh, Travis does also have some changes here, which the deck list uh, just over here, right next to me. This is some minor changes that Travis will talk about. Uh, we'll get to that right away. Um, but also, uh, we're not going to be talking about recommending upgrades from this deck. They are pretty straightforward. Um, like, for example, there's better versions of the cards that are in the deck, so you can upgrade those pretty easy. It's kind of like a paint-by-numbers upgrading system. However... There's also a million other people who did reviews on those that you can go look up. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. We're going to be instead focusing on it cycle to cycle. So, Travis, before we get to the changes you made from the starter deck, let's talk a little bit about Nathaniel. Uh, Nathaniel has three brain, two book, five fist, and two foot... Um, and he has the reaction, whenever you deal damage to an enemy by an event or fight ability on event, deal one additional damage limit, limit once per phase. And his uh, Elder Sign is plus one. If this skill test is successful during an attack, return an event from your discard pile to your hand. Yeah, he'd punch. Yeah, so he's also a bit... Uh, it's, Travis, I have his little write-up over here. Uh, he's Perfect. in a very... I agree with Travis. He's in a very unique spot as a Guardian because he's designed to fight without using weapons, fighting mostly through events. That's where you want to get the most of his damage out. His uh, unique asset is Randall Cho, his concerned brother, who uh, heals um, three damage, uh, or you can search your deck for a weapon asset and play, which in this case would be your boxing gloves is the only weapon in this deck. Uh, his weakness is Tommy Malloy, that son of a gun. Uh, he has Hunter, and when, t when Tommy would take any amount of damage, reduce that amount to one. So Tommy just takes time. So you don't want to be fighting Tommy with your events, just punch him five to two. Just punch that dude three times in the face, and he will go down. Um, Travis, what are your changes from the deck that came out in the pack? Yeah, so I just add some cards from the core sets, assuming that you have two of them like you should. Um, to make the decks what I think to be a little bit stronger, just my personal opinions on them. Also kind of give us something to talk about aside from just listing the deck that you already have the list of because you bought the deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but here we've just, we've had Guts and Overpower because they're very good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they make here, what you we more can do... at tests, they replace themselves. Uh, what we do, I still have the slideshow for your deck here so we can like point out any cards that are relevant, but we will be going very quickly over these decks. Uh, the cards that got cut from the starter deck for those are one Flesh Ward, which I thought was just like a little too situational. One Physical Training, which again like gives you Punch and Brain, and we just put in some skills to give us Punch and Brain. And then two cards of Dodge, which I don't... I mean, it's fine, but it's just not a card that I personally like and I don't think is entirely necessary. Mm -hmm. That's just like my opinion, man. Yeah, especially with your 9 meat and your brother that comes in and heals 3. If you already have your boxing gloves out, you don't really need them. And Flesh Ward itself also just kind of heals you. And you also have Great Wagner, who also has so much freaking juice in her to go. How come these guys get so much... How come he gets, like, 9 hearts, but also 6 brain? Because he only gets to play 1 color's worth of cards. So, like, he gets, he gets to be stronger because his... Uh... His deck building is worse. No, it's dumb. <laughs> um, any of these that are relevant, or should I go to the next slide that we want to just point out? Because most of them are pretty straightforward. I mean, so, your deck kind of centers around putting boxing gloves in play. Yeah, don't, and... don't, don't cut the boxing gloves. Yeah. Yeah, don't take those out. Yeah, don't, don't take those out. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, like most of the deck is just cards that punch people. Yeah, and like this is like we see like clean them out. That's one of the. Um, 
things that'll trigger your ability, so it'll deal two damage, and then you also will gain two resources beforehand, which is pretty sweet in Nathaniel. Like it's helps you play the rest of your events. If you're new to the game, Safeguard probably looks a little bit innocuous, but trust us, that is very, very good, and you should keep it in your deck. Mm -hmm. Unless you're playing solo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, if we if they are playing solo, would we just like say for ease, just like put the dodges back in and over safeguard? Just if they yeah. have just for that pack, that's a pretty easy. Yeah, uh, yeah, just for the easiest yeah. change before we get to like the detailed stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything here we want to talk about? More just stuff that assets uh, events that punch and fight. One two punch is insane, dude. I love how the three. Yo, yeah, one two punch is so strong. Like. And then the upgraded version is sweet as well. Yeah. Um, I do like that they tell a little story, like it's the same boxing match with this bald dude. Um, <laughs> and then a good general rule that you can, if you're just starting out, this isn't actually a good general rule, so don't listen to me if you want to win. Uh, but more often than not, and always, if, you're on the, if your character is on the card art, put it in your deck because it just fits better. With this one, it's incredibly relevant, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more things that just... Uh, uh, vicious blow helps you. Standing over is particularly important because mm -hmm. you need lots of resources. So not only is the spirits so you can grab with your boxing gloves, but you need resources to play your events, and this gives you resources. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Uh, once again, this one is multiplayer for stand together. So if you are playing solo, just get like an unexpected courage or something else if it's just for an easy change. But now, uh, so from the core set, these are the two cards that Travis added: guts and overpower. Guts is good because the the deck will primarily, the Mythos deck, will fight you through Brain more often than not. It is the defensive stat, so being able to bump that up while also drawing a card when you're successful is a good time for everybody. And Overpower, punch better. Yeah, one thing you'll notice actually about those uh, level zero card or the core set cards, that I didn't include emergency cash in any of the decks. And part of that is because looking at them over, they all had other options for economy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to change the decks too much from what they were. Yeah, and, and I mean, honestly, the uh, it's clean the mouth. Cash, cash is fine, but it's, like, super boring. Yeah, and, like, for uh, Nathaniel, clean them out is a great economy card for him. Oh, baby. Like, it's mm -hmm. really good. All right, let's start getting to the, the juicy stuff. Cycle by cycle, let's talk about some upgrades. Uh, these are going to include level zero and experience upgrades as well. So the level zero in the core set. More core set cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unexpected Courage, uh, if... Is just always a good time if you need to bump up your stats. It's like a Guts that doesn't draw you a card, which is still a good Guts. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you, you can also use it on every other kind of test. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Beat Cop, who not only turns your fist to six, uh, but he also can uh, discard to deal damage to enemies. Uh, however, the upgraded one does become a lot better. Uh, the ally slot is a bit competitive for what's currently here. Um, what is... Uh, be cop have over greet wagner if anything what, what would we say free damage and free damage, he's yeah. cheaper yeah i would actually probably play the beat cops over greet wagner if i was playing like with people with you guys like people i know mm -hmm. and i trust that one of you guys is going to be getting clues so i don't need to yeah, yeah. My job is yeah, like, exclusively to punch people. B Cop allows you to focus on like just killing, right? Like not have to pay more for something like that, as Travis said, that other people are doing. Uh, some uh, experienced upgrades. Police badge. Turns your brain to four, which is really nice. And doesn't yeah, taking that. extra actions is like no joke either, especially when you give it to someone else as, as relevant. Also, this deck doesn't have any accessory slots. Yeah, I, don't I was, I was looking at the exact same thing. Of, it's a nice free one. Mm -hmm. Arrow's not amulet. It's good for similar reasons. Uh, that it doesn't... Nothing else uses your accessory slot. There's no competition there. I do want to just say I enjoyed it in Travis's description where Elder Sign Amulet, in case our boxer takes too many knocks to the head, is very, very good for that. Oh man, I'm really proud of my uh, my write up for this one. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I, I could tell. Uh, upgraded. If you guys, if you guys don't read them, you should go read this one. You don't have to read the other ones, but you should read this one. Yeah, which you can also find. That's a great segue down below the video. There is the link to this write up by Travis. 
Um, upgraded B Cop is a lot better than regular B Cop in the fact that you can do multiple damage with him. He because it's it's like his a. Uh, so I believe Travis and Brandon said this before, and I really like it. The function changes at level 2 B-Cop. He's not about soaking damage anymore. He's about using his damage to defeat enemies. Yeah, he, beca he becomes a much more offensive card <laughs> than and a level 0. Honestly, I think, like, Nathaniel Cho and B-Cop is going to be a great combination because Nathaniel Cho can easily get, like, 2 damage on an enemy like, or, like, even 3 damage, and B-Cop can, like, just clean it up, right? Like, mm -hmm. a one-two punch with B-Cop is, like, you can deal four damage a turn with that, right? Or does Stan one-two punch even do even more than that? One-two punch does three damage, because it deals... You deal one off yeah. your basic attack, and then you deal an extra one on the second one, so that's three. So you can deal... Oh, wait, sorry, this four, plus one from your ability. So you can do five damage with B-Cop and a one-two punch, assuming all goes well. That seems yeah. really nice. Seems really nice. Holy hell. All right. Um, that's it for Core Set. Why don't we jump on into Dunwich Legacy? Travis, I'll let you take this one. So I've merged the uh, level zero and um, experience together. So we'll talk about yeah, level they, zeros first, then go to the experienced. For a lot of these guys, there aren't actually that many applicable level zero options, especially for some of them. Like Stella, I think, had pretty much all of the good card, cards that would be good for her are in your deck. But anyway, compared to the worst, uh, your boxing gloves are like really good. And being able to wear them is it's, it's a lot more comfortable to punch people with your gloves. Yeah. <laughs> than it is without them. So you should carry them everywhere you go and prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. Um Stand Together is a better version of Stand Together. Hell yeah. Bro. Uh Blue Investigators typically have a harder time coming by because economy options. This one in particular is very good for Nathaniel Show, because not only does it give you uh, the the resources that you were getting from the level zero version to play your cards also gives you cards to play. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Brian, why don't you talk about uh, Vicious Blow and Emergency Cash upgraded? Oh. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to punch a man so hard he explodes, Vicious Again. Blow will let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, like ex extra damage is very powerful. A lot of enemies in the game are made more difficult by adding like an extra an odd number setting them to an odd number of health so like three or five because it'll take most we most weapons and effects deal one extra damage so vicious blow helps you helps you get over that bump the reason this one's better than the other one is we get a second fist icon when we commit it and if we succeed by two or more we get to deal two extra damage which is like kind of a lot yeah like with your boxing gloves and nothing else with vicious blow you're attacking with yeah. eight with the level two version. Which... Yeah, the vicious blow, like level two, to get the extra damage already gives you the two that you need for it. So it's basically actually just asking for you to pass the test in the first place. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Yeah. And that's pretty easy when you got five punch. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, emergency cash is good for the same reason that the upgraded stand together is. Gives you resources and a card to play. Yeah. Um, I, I would lean into these uh, card draw and resource options more if you were looking at upgrading, uh, more relying on big events. Like if you want to put your experience towards level five, uh, one two punch mm -hmm. from the star deck because it allows you to find them more consistently. Yeah. But that's just uh, mm -hmm. yeah, plus, you know, uh, you, uh, plus you know sometimes you just got to play Greta Wagner and like. Five's a lot. That's yeah. a lot of money. It's Greta, isn't it? I was saying Greet, <laughs> like Groot. Greta <laughs> Wagner, that's it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce either. I just copied you. <laughs> yeah, no, after you copied me, I was like, oh, dang, I, I, I fucked that up. <laughs> um, I think also just prepared for the worst. I just want to, like, pause on that one again. Like, it's getting your boxing gloves is very important, and prepared for the worst essentially means you kind of have four in your deck, which is, like, you want your boxing gloves ASAP. It just fill it just fills your hand up so much and like gets you keep boxing, right? Like it's just It's I mean, kind of like you get to play about three copies of your boxing gloves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like you do also have Randall Cho, right? Yeah. yeah. And you can go find them if need be. It's it's also kind of one of those things that like when we first started playing Arkham, we didn't really have the mindset we do now, which is like you want to build your deck so you know what they're doing, they have a goal, and you want to be able to get that goal within the first three turns maximum of the game to be able to like 
you know. Unless you're like something like a hand size where you always just want your hand filled with goods. But like Nathaniel Cho wants to get cards in his hand and be punching people with his boxing gloves. So the sooner you get your boxing gloves out, the less catch up you're gonna have to do when a big enemy shows up later. So like let's just make it your priority, right? Like, yeah, you either need to be like turboing to set up to get your your setup, your rig up and running in that runner turns to like get what you need to do your job. Or you want to be playing a character that can kind of scale as the game goes on while still simultaneously doing their job and just getting better with as getting better at doing it as the game goes on. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Brother Xavier. He gives you more brain. He gives you a lot of meat and brain to uh, take. And when he dies, you can deal two damage to an enemy or location. In addition, he can also take uh, damage for other players as well. He's just a good blue card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, moment yeah, of like respite. Uh, it's nice. It heals you three horror. That's half of your horror value and you draw a card. I also noticed this is like the first time this has ever been recommended in a uh, <laughs> thing, but it's a spirit card, which means you can find it with boxing gloves. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was surprised too. <laughs> um, so it's uh, just buckle up, everybody. You'll, you'll make sure you want to watch the Stella Clark video to see my weird, I amalgamated charisma and relic hunter into one card for the next Thank one God. to save space. Uh, Man, you guys are going to see this one so much. Yeah. <laughs> Literally every video. Uh, uh, Charisma and Relic Hunter are both, uh, they just let you, if you want more allies, you don't. You can now leave Randall in and get somebody else, or Beat Cop and, like, Brother Xavier if you want him, or just... It, you don't have to worry about only having one ally in play. And if you want, if you go for an accessory build, um, like, for example, in early, even earlier in this one, the badge and the um, Elder Sign, like, you don't need to worry about that. These cards are also very easy to proxy if you don't have the Dunwich Legacy cycle. Just write Charisma or Relic Hunter on a piece of paper and put it next to your deck and be like, I'm very attractive. I can talk to people well. I spent three XP on this. Yeah. Yeah. If you do if you do buy the Charisma, you're probably also going to want to be chasing more of the uh, more of the economy options because playing multiple allies gets very expensive very quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's hop on over to our uh, uh, Pathic Arcosa. Travis, why don't you take these ones? Um, you let me handle this. <laughs> this is a nice way of uh, keeping your teammates safe, ensuring that you... So when you're playing blue characters, your job is like 95% of the time when you're playing blue character, you fight monsters. That is your job. Your teammates do everything else. You just punch things. Or shoot them or stab them or whatever. Let me handle this one. Is not only does it give you... Uh, a bonus to test that might protect your allies like you could pretty pretty safely handle a brain check with this one because it boosts you up to five i believe plus yeah plus two you can soak up a grasping hands because like who cares if you take me damage you got nine but where this card really shines taking enemies that your teammates who may or may not be with you drops at, at worst when you take an enemy you're saving an action so you don't have to engage it uh or like risk punching your friend um, at best, you know, they're on the other side of the map, and you're just like, nah, I get over here. Okay. Um, Inspiring Presence. This is a nice skill card that is really, really, really shines with uh, Gret, Greety, whatever her name is, Miss Wagner, and uh, the level 2 Beat Cop, as it lets you get extra uses out of them while si simultaneously like not just extra uses for by healing them but also you can use them again this turn and uh also boosting up your stats two of them that you care about um one well, thing um, i don't know if you said ever let me handle this but it is also a spirit like whenever you're building this deck uh you'll want to note the spirit um trait like it's just you can find it easier than cards that aren't spirits oh yeah, you probably want like at least i'd say 10 copies of spirits in your deck mm-hmm just off the top of my head. Because, like, every time you punch something to death your box of gloves, you want to be getting a card off it. Yeah. That's why you're paying three resources for it. Yeah. Uh, this next card is, like, the blue card. Yeah. In the game. <laughs> yeah. Stick to the plan is really, really good. So we talked about 
a little bit earlier about how you want to set up your rig and you want to be doing what you do as soon as possible. And all this card does, it, I mean, this card has two functions. One, the good one, is like where you just you just get to power through your setup. You know, you always have prepared for the worst on turn one. You always have ever vigilant, which we're going to talk about when you need it. You always have emergency cash if you need more money or whatever. Um, the less good use for it is you just play a bunch of niche one of events, so you have them when you need them, well, uh, which is more would... fun. But it's yeah. not. A lot of the uh, a lot of the fight events are also tactics, so there is there is that as well. You could like stick on good. one of those underneath there. Uh, any of them that you spent experience on, you can put underneath the stick to the plan, so that you just you just have it. You don't need to find it. Is get over here a, a tactic? It is. That's yeah. uh, that's exact. That's a great example of one of them uh, niche cards that you could just have yeah. hang off the side for when you need it. I think clean them out and counter punch also are, and one two punch might be as well. Yeah, yeah. one two punch is and counter punches as well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so ever vigilant. You have a lot of options. You do. Uh, ever vigilant is like the blue economy card for this game especially combined with stick to plans you always have it on turn one it's a little bit worse nathaniel cho than it is in some of the other blue investigators who rely more on playing multiple weapons and whatnot but still very good here and enabling you to play you know a relentless safeguard and your boxing gloves on turn one or you know your physical training uh an ally in your boxing gloves on turn one or just all in one turn because not only does it save you three resources if you're playing three things, but it also saves you two actions because it takes one to play this, and then you just get, like it's just ready to go. Yeah, you're geared up, you're ready to go. All for the low, low cost of one experience. Like I don't think I've ever purchased stick to the plan and not purchased ever, ever vigilant to go with it. Yeah, yeah, they they're kind of like brother sister. They need to go together. Yeah, it's it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got Armor of a Dentist. This card's just freaking fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's why it's here. Yeah, whenever damage is assigned to it, uh, you can exhaust it to cancel that damage. So you're like, a, it's, you're, it's it would be illegal in the arena to wear armor in a boxing match, but in Arkham Horror, everything's totally on the level. <laughs> Judge my opponent has a steel plate. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, that's a good idea. I can't believe I've never thought of that before. Yeah. <laughs> you, why, aren't, why don't you have one? Yeah. Um, mano a mano is, uh, mano a mano, sorry, is, uh, spirit, that's important, and also it could just, like, it deals two damage to an enemy if you play it. Like, that's pretty sweet. Um, there's I a... I there's a different upgrade version of that in the deck. Here, I can even have well. the deck right in front of me as well. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, there is. It's a level two, which is deals two damage instead. Yeah, like, deals this one's still fine damage. here. Yeah, it deals three damage. See you later, it's like a lot of It's like a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Like punching guys is sweet. Yeah, it's just like if, if you want to go like really hard on the spirit, kill people with your events, Ma uh, Mana and Mana is a good one. Uh, Key of Yeast is just a very Key strong of card. Is good. We can go to the next one. Yeah, also, the, no, I do have to say one thing. Uh, we recommend if you're just starting out to not play with something called the Taboo List. Play a few games as the cards were printed. Key of Yeast uh, before this was gross. Um, and maybe no, you want to play it like that. It. Pardon? That's all the guide says. It just says it's good. Yeah. Uh, all right, Forgotten Age. Who wants to take this one? Oh, okay. So, scene of the crime. Cost two, you discover one clue, or two if there's an enemy at your location. It's bold, so you can only play it as your first action of the, of the turn, and it doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity, because uh, that would suck. Yeah. Uh, but the crime that you're at the scene of is the one you're about to commit. Uh, <laughs> Where you find all the clues and then murder the crap out of the guy who gave you the clues. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, right. Uh, take the initiative is like different guts, bigger guts, but also kind of like bigger overpower. It loses icons for each uh, for each action that's been taken by an investigator this turn, but uh, if you commit it during the mythos phase, nobody's taken any actions. Mm -hmm. So it's always worth three in the mythos. That's where it Plus, really uh, Yeah, if you uh, if you go first, 
your first action. No one's taken any actions yet. And when your teammates ask you what you're doing, you get to say, I'm taking the initiative. Yeah. Yeah. You just tell them, you say, yeah, I'm you going start. first. Yeah. You're like, I'm doing this. And you just start doing it. Yeah. Uh, second wind might seem like it's not a very strong card. One to heal one or two if you drew a treachery card. Uh, then you draw a card. But that nine health does tend to evaporate a lot quicker than you think it will. Mm -hmm. uh, and secondly, there is never a turn where you want to play this as your first action, because it is also bold, that you didn't draw a treachery card. Because if you drew a monster, what are you going to do? Take an attack of opportunity to waste an action? That doesn't sound um, good. That, that's that's kind of just bad. So it does it does pretty much always heal too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, not on the, the second one. It is particularly good in Nathaniel Show compared to other blue investigators because he tends... You only get the extra damage from his ability once per round or phase or something. Phase, yeah. But, uh, so you tend to have... It, you're much more likely to have like long, drawn-out fights over two turns with enemies yep. as opposed to some other investigators who are just going <laughs> to blast them away with a flamethrower or a gun or something. Yeah, like, even, even with that, like... Um, second win as well is a spirit, but like oh, Travis is saying, like your counter punch, the enemy has to attack you for that to trigger. So like, you generally will also still be taking damage, like even if you're killing them like that mm -hmm. turn, right? Like it's just like, it's 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 a long drawn out fight, and it is nice because you can hold it when you need it. You can find it through your boxing gloves, and you can just heal those wounds that you might get in the ring, because he's a yeah. boxer. Yeah. Uh, and then we got uh, we got trusted, which is an upgrade. It's fast. You play you play it and attach it to one of your allies. That ally has plus one health and plus one sanity. This is crazy good on Greta. It's also really good on B Cop because you get to use them an extra time. Plus they soak an extra sanity. Uh, you can also stick it on Randall Cho if you want to for flavor. Uh, yeah, I was just looking but, at Randall Cho and I'm like, yeah. yeah, it makes sense. He only has one health. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one one money for for two two soak is pretty close to the best rate of return you're ever going to well at fast speed is pretty close to the best rate of return you're going to get on that yeah i mean and on, sometimes on it's additional Cho, upside on randall cho for sanity he's pretty much an elder sign and yeah but, like, it's a lot yeah a if lot. you slam this on a brother xavier <sighs> like nobody at your location is going to die ever yeah um, upgrades. We got well prepared so well prepared is a sweet card especially with uh like something like um armor of our dentist if you just want to get a little bit spicy um but it, it'll care about assets you have so if no like boxing glove has one fist um uh greta has a fist in a book which you're not going to really care about randall cho has a brain a book in a wild so like the brain is nice being able to get to four when you need to um if you do go the upgraded physical training route in from your deck like that also is really nice yeah, it can just strip out the guts and overpower from your deck at that point. Yeah. Uh, and also, like, well-prepared, it's... I don't know about Brim, but I know Travis and I really, like, just... We we enjoy this card a lot. Like, we just love it. Yeah, I play it in my... Uh, that's what we play through, and, like, between her cross giving me plus three punch and the silver key giving me plus three brain, it's just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> um, Blood Eclipse is a nice little thing. If you can use... Uh, Use some of the damage you have in your pool. Uh, conveniently, you can take up to three damage, which is how much Randall Cho heals. Um, that is uh, a little uh, juicy to just deal a bunch of damage. And it is a fight event, so you will gain that additional damage from it as well. So it's like, if you spend the three, you attack at six, which is still very nice. And then you can commit a Guts, or if you're well-prepared, is going. And like you can just really do some damage with it as well. Um, Time Worn Brand, if you want a weapon to fight with, is really nice. Um, if you want a weapon, this is the weapon you want. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't want another weapon with uh, Nathaniel. Honestly, I think the boxing gloves are like really good, but if you do want something else, the beat yeah. stick is nice. Uh, yeah, I think I mentioned that like you could play this with like bandolier or some yeah. garbage. Yep. If you really wanted, but uh, dude, Blood Eclipse is a you probably don't want. Yeah, but like I mean, you know if. Are you really ever going to bring a obsidian edged sword into the boxing ring and lose? No, man. It's a <laughs> hard format. Fight, it's a hard you got your, title. your obsidian edged sword. You got your your plate mail on your phone. It's like, uh. Yeah, this is not fair. 
<laughs> All right, Travis, why don't you take uh, the circle undone, these uh, these guys here? Uh, Hollow Mirror is, again, just something that fills up the accessory slot and makes some use of it. Uh, adds, it's got bonded, so it adds three copies of Soothing Melody to your deck. One goes to your hand there, two get shuffled in. It's just a, a really good not die card. Um, yeah, it keeps you alive. Yep. Delay the Inevitable, another card that keeps you alive, uh, but more importantly is a spirit, so you can grab it off of your boxing gloves. Uh, this one's like better for taking large bursts of damage. Um, it's very good for some campaigns that like have like rotting remains, where they're gonna there's potential that you're just gonna get chunked for like two or three brain at a time, and that that doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does also behave a lot like a dodge, in some regards. Yeah. Um, it, it's a dodge of more flexibility. Yeah. Plus, you can give it. You can give it to one of your teammates and be like, "Here, the yeah, upkeep. On this is yours. You decide how important this is to you." Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Say I don't invested do too into it. <laughs> yeah, like I did. I did my part. Yeah. Uh, steadfast is like guts or overpower, but situationally better. And because since I noticed earlier, it is even better on the thing I'll show the average <laughs> investigator, as he has one extra point of health. <laughs> uh, that he does. Yeah, but most of the time, this offers you three right or three punch. Yeah. And passing the test is usually more important than drawing a card, so I would play this over over power, but yeah. probably not over. I, I would play two guts and two steadfast. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's very fair. You Personally. want to be able to be that defensive and yeah. Steadfast if you're if you're that. ever in the world where over or where steadfast is only committing for one symbol, things have gone pretty bad. Yeah, steadfast uh, committing for three symbols probably isn't going to help you. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ace of Swords, uh, as Travis said, how can a card make you better at fighting? Don't ask, just do it. Um, you The tarot slot, you don't need any other tarot, so Ace of Swords is just a good way to have seven fists when you attack with your boxing gloves, not including any allies. Um, I've had worse. Is a spirit, so you can grab it when you need to if you're feeling like you're um, worried. And it also, the upgrade at level two, gives you money. That's nice. Money. Um, and yeah. then grenades, when you're in the arena, sometimes you just need to do what you need to do. How can you, how can you throw grenades well with boxing gloves on? Don't, don't, ask. Don't, don't ask. Yeah, you, you just, yeah, you throw it up in the air and then boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a weapon that doesn't take up any hand slots mm -hmm. for some reason. Uh, it's also very good at clearing out large amounts of, like, mid-sized enemies, which Shinao Cho is decidedly not great at. Yep. Also, it's... their grenades are really cool. Yeah. Just warn yeah. the other players that you're about to throw some grenades so they can get out of there first. Why would you do that? Well, because yeah. I they like my They should be thankful teammates. you kill all the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Brim, why don't you talk about the Dream Eaters, these guys over here? Oh, uh, we got Tetsuo Mori, who's too noble for his own good. Uh, so, like Brother Xavier, he can be assigned damage from other investigators if it is at your location. And when he is defeated, you get to search the top nine cards of your deck for an item. So he kind of does his best, uh, his best prepared for the worst impersonation. Yeah. I think like Tetsuo yeah. is going to become like one that we're. I just feel like we're going to see more of them as we play. Like, uh, worth noting, Tetsuo also lets you search your discard pile. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. So if the game has made you discard an item that you want, Tetsuo can yeah. get it back. Shield or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, first watch basically just lets you blank the game's turn. So it's like one fast. You get to look at the top X cards of the encounter deck, where X is the number of players, and then deal them out. Mm -hmm. No more than one to each player, except yourself. So you can make sure that every monster that would be drawn this turn, you got. Yeah, and like in a perfect world, you'd get like three two yeah. health enemies and then blow them up with your grenades and you're like, I yeah. am yeah. unstoppable. But you also get to make sure that none of your teammates face a test that you don't think they can pass. Yeah. Uh, daring is like overpower plus. Yeah, it is. Uh, you get three wild symbols and you can commit it only to an attack or an evade. Uh, the attack to evaded enemy gains hunter or not hunter, uh, retaliate and alert. So yeah, but how can you fail with plus three? It gets to beach. Yeah, yeah, right. Like <laughs> you just you just added three to your skill value for the test. Like how could you miss when you're punching? Yeah, if eight? you if you miss, that's kind of a bad thing. Uh, and then after the test ends, you get to draw a card. So it is actually pretty much like overpower plus. 
And then we got uh, a better safeguard. Yeah. Like. Yeah, the, this one just has no limit to the number of times you can move in the turn. It's really good. It's really it's, good. It is pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also got Heroic Rescue. Uh, wow, we just like we just reviewed these cards. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize this one. Uh, I think Heroic Rescue is also just like anything that's a spirit. Like it just like goes up in value. As Travis says, you want like ten of these at least in your deck. Um, not ten Heroic Rescues. That's illegal. But. Um, <laughs> Uh, 10 spirit cards like just being able to grab them when you need to and it allows you to move to location with an enemy um, yeah, Move the location of the enemy and, and engage it and fight it. It's just like um, it Seems like a good time uh, Fool me so once no the damage so this allows you to deal extra damage during the enemy phase to get more mileage out of your reaction Yeah, yeah um, uh, And then we got fool me once which is uh, basically just stopping the uh, slowing down the tr uh, the mythos deck it doesn't stop it completely um i never played yeah. with empty vessel do either of you guys want to talk about it empty vessel is such a tank <laughs> it is it uh, it takes so much damage uh, for yeah you. <laughs> uh i mean like it kind of does it indicates so much damage for you yeah it, it it does offset a lot of damage so the front half does almost literally nothing uh, you get to put charges on it when you kill enemies. What you're going to do? Yeah, just like, just like the picture yeah. looks like garbage, yeah. like a broken she amulet on a checkered floor, and then you turn it yeah. over, and you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, and then the, oh, my God. The, the second part of it, once you've got three charges on it, you can f turn it into the Wish Eater, which uh, lets you, uh, when you reveal any of the symbol tokens that are not the autofail tentacle, you can spend a charge from it to cancel it and heal yourself for one damage and one horror. And then when it's empty, you don't even discard it. You just flip it back. Yeah. Like, no problem. You can just fill it up again with, you know, more of these poor idiots you get to kill. Yep. And you're going to be yep. killing. Yeah. And also, as I said earlier, the accessory slot ain't that uh, competitive in this deck. No. And it only costs one resource. So it's not like you can, you draw it like midway through a game and you're like, well, I can't afford to play this right now. Yeah. Yeah. Another neat little synergy this one has going for it is you're only allowed to play one for deck per, uh, yeah, one per deck, but it's an item, so Mr. Tetsuo can grab it when he dies. Yes, he can. Uh, it also offers a uh, brain and a wild symbol on it, so if you're playing well prepared. Yep. The oh, flip yeah. Side, well the flip side doesn't get give you anything, but the front half does. Yeah. Yeah. I also like now just looking at the flavor of Randall Cho. I was like, can Randall get we items? No, he can only get weapons. So he's concerned, but he's still like, brother, you gotta go yeah. fight in the ring. We need money. <laughs> Do you have any kind of like badges or something? He's like, no, I just got boxing gloves. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so that's it for Nathaniel Cho. I think he's a very strong investigator, and I think he'd be really fun to play. And I think... Uh, there's a lot of routes you can go with uh, how to take it through all the cycles. We hope that this uh, video helped you guys kind of just see where you can take Nathaniel uh, as it goes. Did I call him Randall Cho a few seconds ago? <laughs> I Maybe. have Randall in my brain right now. Yeah, just give you guys some ideas for what to look for in your uh, your deck. Don't yeah. want to force you into like one deck list or anything, but get you thinking. Yeah, and if anyone uh, watching has any ideas for other cards that we may have missed, or if you have any other thoughts, post them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys very soon. Uh, we're going to be talking about Stella next, so have a good one. Uh, we'll see you next week, and as always, GG's.